Today I'm going to show you my DC motor analyzer for windmill applications. Basically what this will do is analyze a DC motor and allow you to compute various things to use in a homemade windmill. Um, we'll start off with a, a sample motor I have. I have a DC, uh, I have a permanent magnet alternator. It is a modified car alternator. And it is 71 volts at 11 amps. 940 RPMs. Now we'll do one to one TSR6 into 24 volt battery, which is a forklift battery, and blade diameter. We'll change that in a second. And what we can see is that right around 7, the charging is close to 13 miles per hour, and that's that's way too, you know, way too uh, too much wind just to start charging into 24 volts. And I don't want to gear it up, so I will lower my blade diameter. As I lower it, so you notice at 990 watts, uh, that's at about 29.2 miles an hour, which is right here. Uh, any faster than that, and it could burn up the motor. So, and I do get winds that are fairly high, so I will lower this. And notice right here, this is the charging. As I, as I decrease the blade size, um, let's go down to 4.5. Now I'm charging at about 8 miles an hour and I get a max of about 619 at 30 mile an hour wind. But if I look down here I can see that I can theoretically get almost a thousand watts at 35.3 miles an hour. So you can see where that goes. But uh, another example here is let's say I uh, let me increase the, the blade size here. Just go to 7 feet and let's say I were to gear it up 2 to 1 it looks much better uh, but remember anything over 27.1 miles an hour could burn up that motor so be aware of that and let's uh, let's decrease the size here let's say 6.5 feet in diameter but watch what happens if I do the wire length to the windmill let's say I set it for 50 feet the red the red uh, cross moves up a little bit. If I were to use 12 gauge wire, it moves up even more. And what's happening is now it's still the same wattage, but it takes 30 miles an hour just to get that 990 watts. So, and let's say I went 200 feet. Oh well, that's overkill. I'm at 82.5% voltage drop. So we, we definitely wouldn't want to do that with a 12 gauge. But we could go 200 feet at 4 gauge. Much better. You know, it's actually tolerable. That's in the 24 volts. A typical run though is 50 to 100 feet. And maybe 6 to 8 gauge. Um, and let's go with, uh, with another motor, say a treadmill motor. We'll go 130 volts, 11 amps, and 6250 RPMs. And we'll go one to one just to show you what it looks like. Well, it's way off the charts here, as you can see. Let's gear it up some. Three to one. Here it is. 990 watts. 27.3 charging is a little too too high there. Let's change it here. Let's go uh, five to one. So with the treadmill motor, the really high RPM. So what you'd have to do is gear it up five to one in that case in the, for this particular motor, just to get you a uh, thousand watts at 30.7 miles an hour. It's into 24 volts. Um, let's say you're going into 12 volts. As you can see, that changes everything. But let's say you use two treadmill motors wired in parallel. So you got 22 amps, and they're both identical. So into 12 volts, you can still get that thousand watts. And this is based on 50 feet of wire, six gauge. Let's uh, let's change that to four gauge. That way, you've only got 12.6 percent voltage drop. Anyway, you get the idea. This is how the DC motor analyzer for windmill application works. 
Um, it's, there's a lot more to this, but this is just the basics. Anyway, talk to you later.